Listen, there are people making full-time incomes on TikTok. And I know that you clicked on this video because you wanna know how in the world is that happening. But you might have this one problem. You don't want to show your face. You don't want people to know who you are. You don't wanna play all these social media games. You wanna be an undercover content creator. And let me tell you, you absolutely can do just that and start racking in thousands of dollars per month without ever showing your face and i'm going to break down exactly how to do all of that plus i'm going to be giving you a couple faceless tiktok niche ideas so that you know exactly how to start Hey, hey, if you're new here, my name is Diamond Chanel, and on this channel, we talk about all things money. And I show you how to use the internet to thrive and not just survive. So we're going to get into a few faceless TikTok ideas that you can be using in order to start making money from your phone. So as we go through these different niche ideas, I'm going to show you real examples of people that are doing this and doing it successfully. And then I'm also going to tell you the different opportunities that you can utilize to start making money on TikTok. And there are so many different ways to do it. So let's just get into it. The first faceless niche that you can start doing on TikTok is cooking videos. Now, cooking videos usually do really well because people love the whole transformational videos where you're showing that this is going to be the end product and then you show the process of how to get there. And even better, if you add a little commentary, if you tell stories. I've seen people literally do cooking videos and just go on Reddit and tell Reddit stories over the cooking video. Here's some examples of what I'm talking about. Watch me give my man another reason why he should put a ring on it. Hot honey tenders with mac and cheese marinating the chicken. In the cooking space as well, you can tell that a lot of the ASMR, so the sounds from the sizzling of the pot, those things usually do really well. And because all of that is going on in the video, people kind of don't care to see the face of the person that's doing it because they're simply entertained by what's going on. Now, the second niche, which goes wild over on TikTok, is the pet niche. If you have a pet like I do that is just sitting up in your house, living rent free, not paying no bills, it is time to put them to work, okay? <laughs> so you can actually be using your pet and just using the everyday quirky things that your pet does and putting it on TikTok. So I'm gonna show you a few different examples of that. And let me tell y'all, the whole pet niche over there is absurd. So as you can see, so there's some people that do funny commentary about what the pet is thinking or, you know, just relatable content about that. And then there's other people who don't even do any type of commentary. They just put text on the screen and make up a whole narrative about their pet. So this is something that can be wildly successful. And when we get into the money opportunities, you're going to see how much your pet can be making you. Speaking of pet, mine's just... My dog is just deciding to chew on her bone in the middle of my video. So sorry if you're hearing crackling noises. Anyways, but things must get done. Number three. Now, I'm a little iffy about this one, but this is something that, I mean, works well. But it's creating like a children's brand on TikTok. Now, you know, for obvious reasons, you want to be safe and you might not want your children to be on TikTok. But if that's okay with you, and if you have really cute kids that do really funny, crazy things, then you can also be using that as a faceless channel where you're not actually showing your own face. And there's many reasons why somebody might do that. Maybe you're feeling a bit insecure about yourself. Maybe you have a type of job that doesn't allow that type of stuff. But for whatever reason, you could start a kid's brand and it can even be an educational kid's brand, like how to do gentle parenting or how to live with a child with autism or with um, a disability. There's a lot of different things and a lot of good that can come out of that. So here's some examples of that. Autism signs that were dismissed because my son is verbal. 
Lack of eye contact when communicating. Scripting. Number four is going to be DIY projects. So if you're good with hand making things, I mean hand making clothes, hand making um, furniture items, hand making cakes, I don't know, anything. If you're really good with hand making, then you don't have to show yourself. You can simply show your process. That transformational theme of showing a finished product and then showing the process of how you got there. And also, again, adding some commentary would help or adding some funny stories or relatable stories, anything like that, that you can make it a little bit more personable without showing your face. You can even put gloves on and not even show your hands. I mean, you could have like a TikTok account with 1.5 million people and nobody even knows who you are, if that's what you wanna do. The next is gonna be vlog style. So how do you do a vlog style TikTok without showing yourself in the vlog? Well, you're just taking the camera around and showing your point of view, which is a very interesting filming perspective because what your aim will be is making people feel like they're the ones that is experiencing whatever's going on in that video. So um, let's say that you make a lot of money and you want to take people luxury shopping with you, but you don't want other, other people to know that you make that much money. I don't know. I'm just building narratives and stories here. So you could use your camera and just walk, maybe show your feet, show your outfit of the day without ever showing yourself and just taking the camera with you where the person watching can get that point of view perspective. I guess the way that I could think about this would be like a video game. Like you could have a view where you see yourself as the character, but you can also have a view where you are just walking around. I don't know. I hope that makes sense to somebody, but I don't know. That's, that's what I'm thinking, like a GTA type thing. So you can do that with your videos as well this year blessing money testimony go to follow 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 now number six are going to be like animations drawings i see those types of videos doing well especially if there's some humor and you can make people laugh or if you're educating them uh, there's a YouTube channel called The Bible Project, and they do this really well, and I just absolutely love their videos. And so they basically educate you on difficult topics about the Bible, or they explain different things about the Bible, and they do it through animations. And their animations and their illustrations are really amazing. So that is something that you could do. Now, if you're interested in that, but you're not really good with graphic design, you can literally just hire a graphic designer to make the illustrations while you come up with the concepts. So here's some examples of that. I just wanna be clear. You're upset because we made friends with your cat. You're unreasonable people, you're holding our cat. Go in your yard. Now I know we're going through the list, but hang on in there with me. I promise we're gonna to get to the money talk about this whole thing. So the last one will be reviews and commentary. So you can do an entire TikTok page about reviewing or having your own commentary about other people's posts and how you could do this again you can use an avatar you can use animations where you can even cover your face and do commentary there is another oh my gosh i wish that i could i wish i knew or remembered the name of this channel but he does this really well and he literally like is in a mask and he does commentary on different things it's very interesting and none of us know what this man looks like and he just you know does like these these topics and these theories and, and all this other stuff like that so that is another idea of how you can start a faceless tiktok page and
you. That's what we're really here for. So here's a couple different ways that you can monetize your faceless TikToks. The first way is gonna be through the TikTok shop. So the TikTok shop allows you to earn commissions from affiliate marketing, but also if you're a business, you can list your products in the TikTok shop. So when you're making videos about your business or about your products, people will just click the link and they'll be able to purchase. So this is a feature that is um, available to people who have 5,000 followers or more on TikTok. It's really not difficult to get 5,000 followers on TikTok as long as you're consistent. Now, the second way is going to be outside of the TikTok shop, you can do other affiliate marketing programs. So you can get referral links from your favorite companies and you can share that link with the people who are watching your videos and so on and so forth. You can directly DM them and recommend them a product. And every time someone signs up or purchases from your link, you get a commission. Now, affiliate marketing could be extremely lucrative. I talk about it all the time. So if you guys wanna know more about that, just let me know. Now, another big way, which is a lot of content creators master plan on TikTok is directly through sponsorships. So let me give you a little gem on how you can start getting sponsorships quickly. And that's by number one, being consistent. But number two, when you're starting your TikTok to just mention brands and mention different companies as you are growing it. Because number one, let's say you go into Target and you start talking about the different things that you can find at Target. Number one, you're leveraging the big name of a brand, which already is gonna pique somebody's interest. But number two, you're showing other potential brands that you have a great capability of doing reviews and driving traffic to their products and services. That's how I started getting sponsorships on this channel was because I was reviewing different websites for free and then I had a bunch of sponsors come to me and they wanted me to review their products and they would pay me for it. Now, I know some creators that are getting like $8,000, $10,000 for a 30 second video. Getting sponsorships and brand deals is very lucrative. Now, the next way is going to be by having your own website. So if you're driving traffic to your website, Google has a program where they pay you for the traffic that you drive to your own website if you allow them to do advertisements. So it's the same exact way that we YouTubers get paid is through the same program as Google AdSense. And it's simply just allowing advertisers to promote on your products like commercials and things like that. So this might be like a pop-up or something. So if you have a blog where you give like valuable information or you just have a website up, if you drive people from TikTok to your website, you'll be able to get passive income simply by allowing advertisers to advertise on your website. Now the last and the biggest way for you to monetize is through your own products. Whether that be digital products or physical products, create a product, advertise it on TikTok. You don't even have to have your face in the advertising videos and drive people to your products. If you wanna learn how to make passive income so you can start working less and earning more and actually live a life that you desire, then you need to check out my training program called Building a Passive Income Empire. The link is in the description below and I show you how to get started with all of these things and you can go at your own pace so that you don't have to feel overwhelmed and I break down the information so that it's easy to digest because I know that there's so many different topics out there, I make it easy to understand and to follow and for you to get started. So that's gonna be in the description box below. Also, if you want a full free game plan on what you need to do to get your TikTok up and rolling, and it's gonna be tailored to four different type of categories, you need to check out this video here because it's gonna tell you how to do just that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.